How Jesus Became Homeless in New York City in the 21st Century. Jesus was born in 1993 in New York City, one of the outer boroughs. He taught himself carpentry in the garage of a friend. But this was not an age for a demand for his skills. He was loved, even a bit coddled by his mother and father, Maria and Jose. He was an only child. Jesus went to school in the era of no child left behind, race to the top. It was the epic of testing. Jesus did not do well in tests. He was pressured to read and answer promptly. He was a slow reader. He liked to ponder. He did well in English, especially proverbs, allegories, parables. <laughs> but his biggest problem was mathematics. He felt he had reached his limits. He thought Newton was much smarter than me. And computer skills? This was the era of the internet. This was not his metier, his forte. He got lost in spreadsheets. And virtual reality did not seem real to him. A Facebook friend did not seem real to him. His grades, tests, and SAT scores were not on a par with many of his comrades. He did not get into a top college or even a mid-level college. He could have gone to community college and taken remedial math and statistics, but this would have led him not led him to anywhere he wished to go. In fact, he had no idea where he wanted to go. He sometimes wished he had been born a few decades earlier. He heard there were woodworking shop classes back then. He could have gone to a voc vocational school back then, become an apprentice to a carpenter, worked for a furniture ca factory, or freelance. He heard there were many opportunities back then. He didn't have to go to college back then. So what to do? A clerk at Walmart? He felt the company was unethical, exploited Latino workers, etc. A Starbucks barista? The coffee way too expensive, and even ethos water, not for the working man. He also feared he would have trouble brewing coffee correctly, remembering orders. A service employee at McDonald's or Burger King, the food was poison, so he believed. What to do? Welfare was out of the question. He was white, male, single. Couldn't he just get a job? And there were time limits on public assistance. No solution. Begging on the subway? He was not a Vietnam veteran, even Iraq. He had all his limbs. The only solution? Become one of the army of homeless on 3rd Avenue below 14th Street. 3rd Avenue becomes the Bowery at a certain point. He laid a pallet down of a discarded towel and a cushion of bounty paper towels in front of an abandoned storefront. He scrolled a message on cardboard for passersby, which read, My name is Jesus. Sorry to bother you. I am homeless. A quarter, a nickel, a dime, a penny, any amount would be deeply appreciated. A sandwich, an orange, peanuts, or chips. May God bless you and have a great day. Wow. What a beautiful speech.